I wasn't planning on vlogging today because we honestly did nothing all weekend, but now we're doing something, so figured I would vlog for you guys. The reason why I wasn't vlogging this weekend was because it was just another rainy weekend in New York City, and I was like, you know what? I'm done with the rain. I'm over it. But today suddenly turned into the most beautiful day, so figured we'd go out, get some brunch. I'll probably walk the West Side Highway since, again, just want to be outside. It's a beautiful day. Who knows we'll, where that will lead us. Maybe we'll go shopping. I did want to check out Zara because they had this like really cute jacket I wanted to try on and we'll see where the day takes us but of course want to quickly show you guys my outfit as usual actually before I show that I just wanted to show you guys this new SPF not sponsored or anything but I tried this this is called the color science sun forgettable um, SPF I got mine in the shade I think it's tan and guys this literally looks like a foundation but it's an SPF. It comes out white and then you just blend it in and somehow magically becomes your skin tone. I'm this may be like my new go-to, so just had to put you guys on. I'll try and have a link down below. And then of course I just went in with my usual, you know, little concealer, little blush, bronzer, nothing crazy. Only use cream products today, but yeah, I thought this was a really great product, so I wanted to put you guys on. This is just my little casual cozy fit. For the day, these sweats are from Abercrombie. I'll try and have them linked down below. These are like my favorite sweats ever. They honestly feel better than Aritzia sweats, dare I say. Like they are that comfortable. I really want to get more colors, but I'm obsessed with them. I think I got everything in a small. Just for size reference, I'm obviously not wearing my slippers. I just want to quickly show you guys my little cozy fit. And then of course pairing it with this fluffy purse. You guys always know when it gets to be like cold and chilly out. This is like my go to little fluffy purse. I believe this is old from Zara, but and that's my little look for the day. Since I'm vlogging, I figured I would share a few updates with you guys. So yesterday, we actually went and got me a new camera. I've been wanting this Canon, like, other camera. Basically, is like, similar to this camera, but you could put this wide lens. So the camera was sold out, but I ordered it. It should be here in a few days. And this is the lens I purchased. Just thought it would be better for the vlogs, like a cooler view. And then also inside here, I got just, I think this is like a lens protector, UV protector, so the lens doesn't shatter. And then also, of course, just a little SD card. I'm not sure if the vlog camera will come in time for me to actually use it in this vlog, but definitely in the next vlog, stay tuned and let me know what you guys think of the difference. Also, Revlon sent over a ton of products. I am working with them on a video, but they literally sent me so much. So these are some of the products I will be working with. I'm super excited to try them out. So they gave me like, it's insane, guys. They gave me every single brow product they have, all the different shades. So I'm going to figure out which one is mine and then donate the others. Same thing with foundation. They literally sent me their entire, I think it's like 45, 50 shade range. These are just the few that I believe may be close to my skin tone. So I'm just going to try and see which is closest, and then like I said, donate the rest. These are all of the other foundation shades. Like I said, there's a ton, and all of the other brow pencil shades. So like I said, we'll be donating all this to a nearby shelter. Very blessed that I'm able to do that, but yeah. I can't believe they sent me all of this. Very grateful, but of course, I will never be all of these shades, so might as well donate and give to someone who can put it to better use. <laughs>
So, I just got home. But I want to show you guys what I got from Anthro. But first, I want to show you guys my new favorite thing. I live in New York City. You need this. <laughs> it's this Tide antibacterial fabric spray. I don't know about you guys, but seeing the news with like bed bugs and stuff, I'm not here for it. And I would lose my mind if we had it. So I'm not sure if this really gets rid of bed bugs, but it's at least like, you know, a little something because obviously I can't wash my jacket every day. So I just go in, spray the whole thing, leave it out to air dry. It smells incredible. So. Highly recommend, I'll have a link down below, but I do this every single time I come inside the house. And like I said, from Anthro, I did pick up a little something. They were closing, so didn't really get too much. And I don't have all of their holiday stuff out. I feel like they have a decent amount, but I feel like once we get closer to the holiday season, they'll have more. But as soon as I walked in and smelled this candle, I knew I needed it. So this is the Veluspa Noble Fur Garland, is the smell. Sorry about the noise. The dogs are heating behind me. This is what it looks like. They did have a few different sizes, but the one smaller than this was just like a little too small and I'm obsessed with this smell. This is literally like Christmas to me. And honestly, I think this is what they light throughout anthropology. Like they must have diffusers around or candles, something, because anthropology usually smells like this around the holiday season. So when I smelled it, I was like, I need it. And it's pretty cute packaging. I love the green. Nolly, you're listening to me over here? Yeah? Oh. oh my god, that was a crazy burp. We have the crate out because Jay uses it when he gives them a bath so that they could dry off in there. Otherwise, they'll like wet the whole place because they don't like a blow dryer. So what we really, well, he does use a blow dryer lightly, but they don't let us like fully blow dry them. So we usually just towel dry and then let them sit in there for like 10 minutes and like really dry off. But that's pretty much everything we got today. Now I'm about to change, get all cozied up. And I think I'm gonna start editing because I have so much content to edit. I feel like I've been pretty overwhelmed lately just <laughs> between like my actual nine to five and content creating i've been very blessed to go on trips and we have a few more coming up but like my head's just been a little over the place so gonna focus on that tonight like i said i got all cozied up do my skincare shower eat some dinner all the good vibes I'm gonna quickly go in and do my skincare. I already went in with my rice toner. You guys know I love this. Now I'm just gonna go in with this Caudalie. This is the Beauty Elixir Spray. I've really been loving this. It really just smells like a spa and it feels amazing on the skin. Like I, I'm, this is like a new part of my routine. It's so good. And then recently, Lasseton sent over a few of their products. So I've been trying them out and I have been loving them. I've been going in with their, this is the Immortel Reset. Kind of like a serum. It's very pretty packaging, but I usually just go in and use a little of this on my face. I think it has like anti-aging properties or something and it's supposed to keep you hydrated all i know is it feels amazing on the skin and it smells good and then i've been going out with the lasitan immortel emulsion in reishi i'll have a link down below but i think that's how you pronounce it use a few drops of this and it's a very like dewy but nice moisturizer it kind of feels like a water cream in the best way i love it then going in with my Color Science Total Eye Concentrate. I've been using this for the past few months and it feels really nice and cooling on the under eyes. Then just going in with my go-to Laneige Lip Mask. This is the vanilla one. This is my go-to. And then going in and gua sha my face. This is a new gua sha I got from OG. I really like it. It's like a heavy, I guess like metal. I am feels really nice and cooling on the skin and that's just my little skincare now i'm gonna go edit um actually i forgot to put my neck cream on so i'm gonna quickly put this on as well but then like i said just going to edit some of my vlogs and we are going on a trip like i said so we need to start booking that because we know where we're going and what we're doing so it's not anything crazy but we don't know if we're going to one place two places like that's really what we have to figure out literally 
on my lunch break and I just got in my new camera so I figured we can unbox it together. So this is my new little girly. Hopefully I like her. Um, I honestly don't know how to use a camera with a removable lens so I'm gonna have to figure this out but it's really cute. My plan is to use this for vlogging in the house honestly and if there's anything I want to bring it outside the house for then I will but its main purpose is for vlogging like indoors so I can do more fashion content, beauty content. I just feel like this camera doesn't give like that big of an angle that I was looking for. Also, I feel like I'll film more in the house. <laughs> Figured it out. This is how she looks. I didn't put the battery in yet because obviously I have to charge it. But then for this one, it opens up on the side. So <laughs> as you guys see with these videos, I'm always looking up with the Canon. So with this one, I guess I'll be looking to the side. Hopefully it's not so annoying. But yeah, this is the new camera. I think I'm gonna charge it up and then we'll see how it really looks with the new wide lens. I'll still be using this camera as well because I love my Canon G7X, but I just wanted, like I said, an alternative for more of like a wide angle lens. Okay, we're on the new camera, guys. Wait, what do we think of it? Let me know you guys' thoughts. This is so weird for me to be looking to the side the whole time, but this is new. What do we think? What do we think? Let's see how it is filming around the apartment. Okay, wow, you can really see everything. Wait, okay, let's see how it will look with beauty videos. I was most excited about how this would look with beauty videos, so let's see. Also, it's a mess in here because I'm about to get ready to go to dinner with my family. Okay, the lighting is weird in here right now just because of the sun. I feel like this is gonna just take a little for me to get used to. Also, I really don't know if I like it or not. So this is how we look in the mirror. If we're gonna do little OOTDs. Yes, I've been in my pajamas all day. That's just me working from home, but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts. I definitely have to get used to this camera because I just filmed the whole thing and I don't even think I got it, but like I said, I have 14 days to return either the camera and lens and or whichever one. It is a bit heavy compared to my other camera just because this lens is the heavy part. The camera itself isn't that bad, but I feel like what's going to be hard for me to get used to is the fact that this opens like this as opposed to the Canon G7X which is on top. So just have to see how I feel about that, but like I said, this is really just for like in the house content. Also. For like beauty stuff, I will still be using my other camera, but let's just see how I feel this weekend with it. If not, we'll return her and stay with our little G7X girly pop, but like I said, I'm about to head out to dinner with my family and Jay, of course. I'm gonna quickly get ready. Maybe I'll film me getting ready just to see the lighting, like how it looks with the new angle. What do you think of it? Are you afraid of this one, Simba, or no? He's very confused. Yeah, he would, but look, look, look in the camera. Like, it's definitely more crisp than the other one. And we could both be in the frame. I don't know. I'll have to get used to it and see the vibes of it. But like I said, I need to start getting ready. Let's get ready. I'm not doing anything crazy with my makeup because, like I said, we are just going to get hibachi with my family. I was really craving hibachi. So I texted them and I was like, hey, you guys want to go get some hibachi? Because they have a really good hibachi place near them. And my dad's in town because I think I told you guys this before, but my parents live part-time here and part-time in North Carolina now because my dad's job. So they pretty much go back and forth. More my mom goes back and forth but lately it hasn't been as busy for my dad so he's been coming back and forth i think i mentioned this to you guys before but i've been loving this color science sunscreen this is in the shade tan so basically don't put too much because last time i put just a little too much but basically comes out white and then when you rub it in it changes to be your skin tone like, look at that. Isn't that crazy? And I'm telling you, this is just as full coverage as some of my foundations. Put on my go-to little gloss. This is the Gizu. Gizu Honey Infused Lip, whatever it's called. Um, I really don't want to add anything else to my face. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Like, I could add concealer and all that, but I kind of don't really want to. So I think I'm just not going to. I'm going to quickly get ready because... The train is in 30 minutes. 
So this is my final look. Like I said, I just went to center my family. Nothing crazy. This top, I believe, is from Princess Polly. This vest is from Revolve. Just like a little green puffer vest. I love it. Paired it with my green anthro purse. This is like a Bottega dupe. I love it. And I love that it matches. Then I'm just wearing my little Abercrombie jeans. These are the Curve Love. You guys know I love these. Obviously not wearing my slippers. About to put my sneakers on now. But just wanted to quickly show you guys my little outfit before I head out. <laughs> It's officially time to start getting ready for a little skincare event tonight. The event is with number seven, which is a UK based skincare company. And apparently there's supposed to be a surprise celebrity guest. So I am excited. Just quickly starting to get ready. I'm also cooking at the same time. I was just really craving my usual little salmon bowl. This event is actually not that far from our apartment, but they did give me an Uber code. So I'm still debating on if I'm going to use the Uber code or just walk. I mean, it's still like a decent-ish walk. I guess it depends on my shoes, but this is the first time I've ever been sent an Uber code for an event. That's just so nice of them, and I'm really excited. I don't know anyone going to this, which, which is pretty much usual for me with events here in New York City. Maybe I'll make some friends tonight, but regardless, I'm sure I'll have a great time. My skin has been so dry lately because of the changing weather. Although today it was like almost 80 degrees. I have no idea. The weather is really just all over the place and I just want to enjoy a little fall weather. I'm actually leaving on a trip soon to the Bahamas, which not exactly um, fall weather, but it's for my Titi's 50th. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to vlog that yet. I'll maybe put a poll up on like YouTube or Instagram or something. See what you guys really care for. Because I know most people really just care for the fall related content right now. And I am here with you. That's all I've really been watching on YouTube as well. But this is the first time I'll really be like in the Bahamas in the Bahamas. I've gone to the Bahamas before, but it was just like on a cruise. So to me, that's like not really going to the Bahamas. Like you're there for a certain amount of hours, you know, it's not really the same, but really excited for this trip. Like I said, it's for my Titi. So all of my Titi's will be there. My mom will be there. It'll be a fun time and they are definitely party people. Do you guys know I'm not the biggest like party person, but I'm sure it'll be a great time. I still can't tell if I like this camera. I feel like you have to upload the footage and look at it like honestly. Like as I'm vlogging? Like... I understand what you're talking about. I think, is it the, what it looks like or like how you have to look at the camera and you have to train your head to look straight? I don't know. I think it's both. I think I'm just not used to it. But I'm like afraid, like what if it, is it, I'm not used to it or do I just not like it? Because I need to figure it out like now. <laughs> That's why I'm using it. Like use it for like a few days. And then like you need to upload some footage to your computer so you can see it too. Like yeah. you not doing that is also like not giving you the full picture. He obviously wants me to keep the camera because he got it for me. <laughs> Since this is a skincare event, I don't think I'm gonna go too crazy with the makeup. Although I always say that and then I end up not doing, I end up not going crazy, but I end up doing like a full face of makeup. But we will see it for tonight. Maybe I will try my best not to, but just getting out all of my favorite products that I usually use. And I still have to do something with this hair. Also need to figure out an outfit. So let's just get into it. This is my full little look. You guys have seen me wear this a million one times. This is like my go-to event outfit. I really was confused with the weather because it was hot today, so I didn't want to bundle up too much. So basically just wearing a basic t-shirt from Abercrombie. This H&M blazer I love. These Abercrombie jeans, Tony Bianco boots, and then just pairing it with my little anthro Bottega dupe. But this is the final look. I'll catch up with you guys when we're there. What's going on? Okay, guys. 
Hey guys, we're back from the event. It was super cute. Elizabeth Banks is their ambassador. So she was there. She was talking to us. She's hilarious. My hair looks a little crazy because I just came from outside. But I want to show you guys. They gave us a little goodie bag. So let's unbox her together. Like I said, it was a really cute event. Elizabeth Banks was talking to us. And something I found really interesting was that she said she's never had like filler, Botox, none of that done. Which when you think of Hollywood, I feel like that's what most people think is their whole face is filled and all that. So I thought that was like really interesting and in a positive way of course I mean nothing against that if that's what you want to do then go right ahead but I just thought it was kind of like refreshing to see and hear a you know person in Hollywood talking about how you know they just stick to their skincare routine focus on their mental health go on their daily walk so it's very inspiring and I definitely enjoyed it she's hilarious and also something I don't think I've mentioned this before but number seven is a big skincare brand in the UK and they actually sell that booth. If you've ever been to the UK, they always have it in like boots, and I also think super drug. As you guys know, I lived in London for like six months and I loved boots. I used all the skincare. I even used their skincare now that I think about it. I mean, it was like, you know, a few years ago, but I definitely used their under eye cream because when she was talking about it, I was like, you know what? I think that's the under eye cream I was using when I studied abroad in London. So I'm excited that they gave us some products. Let's check them out. Also, guys, this is their launch in the US. They've been in the UK for a bit that's where they say it's you know uk's best kept um skincare secret but now they're launched in the u.s so if you haven't seen them here that's why but now they're here so they gave us a little you know booklet just talking about you know their history which is really cool we got to hear about it tonight they gave us their new line which is called future renew so their whole like slogan is no regrets just renew so meaning like you know possibly in the past you've slept with your makeup on or forgot to do your skincare care one night it's not a big deal just focus on renewing it which i thought that was so cute and i'm really excited to try these products this is their damage reversal night cream it says targets visible signs of skin damage also if you guys are not from the uk boots and super drug is kind of like the equivalent to our walgreens i guess you could say so it's drugstore prices which is really great definitely affordable and it's really good skincare they gave us that and they also gave us two other products from their line this is a serum it says target Target to visible signs of skin damage. Let's try this out. And last but not least, they gave us an eye serum. So again, really excited to try this out. It was such a fun event. Thank you to number seven for the invite. Now I am just going to shower, unwind for the night. I still have this dry shampoo. I hope I did not put my hair like that when I was out there. Like I said, probably just gonna shower, do my skincare, watch the Rangers game, and book our trip because we leave not that long from now. Oh yeah, oh, there we're going on another trip. So. <laughs> the trip I'm talking about right now, we had planned to go to for a while. The trip I'm going on this upcoming week was like very last minute plans, um, but all excited for everything. I feel very blessed to be able to go on both trips in November, which is crazy because we just came back from a trip, but all good things, very excited. But like I said, just gonna chill for the rest of the night and I'll catch up with you guys when we do something else this week. So I randomly decided that I just wanted to vacuum the entire house and that led to me vacuuming the entire couch. So this is our current living room situation. Just have all of the couch pieces everywhere and I'm going in with my Dyson on everything. So I figured I'll do a little time lapse so you guys can see me. Friday evening vacuuming the house. I also went and got my nails done this morning. I forgot to vlog, but just got the same maroon color I've been getting. I think it's called Malaga wine. I've gotten it like five times in a row, but I'm watching Nazanin's vlogs and getting into a little vacuuming before we have our, what is it, acupuncture we're going to? Yeah, we're going to acupuncture later, so I'll take it as long as this as well, but let me just quickly clean before the dogs start barking because I'm sure they're hungry. <laughs> After I just did the entire base, which by the way, I think it looks pretty 
great. After I did the whole bathe, vacuum battery died. So now I'm gonna have to let it charge. And what sucks is we still don't have an overhead or like any sort of light in this living room. That's on my agenda for tonight is for us to purchase a lamp to have some sort of light. My idea is for it to go right in this little corner here, just like a small, thin one. Yeah, now I think I'm gonna have to just let it charge, maybe. I don't know when I'm gonna do the cushions because It'll be so dark later, so we'll have to figure that out. But for right now, she's charging up. Bit of a mess in here. Happy Saturday, you guys. Got up, had some breakfast, and we did have a lot of fall plans for today. We were either gonna go upstate and go pumpkin picking, or we were gonna go to Brooklyn where I saw this cute little pumpkin patch, but it's 80 degrees today, so I'm not quite sure. <laughs> What we're gonna get up to I figured I would just get ready I don't even know what I'm gonna wear now because like I said, it's 80 degrees Obviously was not expecting this. Please ignore this lovely load of laundry I have here next to me, but yeah, we were not expecting the weather to be This beautiful so I think what we may do is head to the Union Square farmers market Which we were planning to do anyway and then later tonight. We have reservations at the new restaurant in Chelsea I'm gonna quickly do a little something with my face. I think I'm really just gonna go in with this sunscreen I've been loving, especially since it's 80 degrees out, and then put a little powder over it and call it a day. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take We're back. I did stop into Sephora to pick up a few more items So I figured I would do a little unboxing for you guys Also received a PR package I figured we could also unbox that I think I'll start off with Sephora So there was a few more items I wanted to get that they just didn't have in stock One of them was the Dior Berry Blush I've been like eyeing it and I think I'm just gonna have to order online Also the Makeup by Mario like this lip liner I've been really wanting sold out So probably just gonna order those online but but like I said, picked up a few little goodies. Not gonna lie, Sephora was packed, like unreal packed. I've been wanting to try out the House Labs by Lady Gaga concealer. Everyone raves about this. I got mine in the shade, I believe this is 30 medium peach. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it, what I think. This is what the House Labs concealer looks like. I really like the packaging actually, so maybe I'll try it out tonight. I was planning to like blow dry my hair, redo my makeup, but I kind of don't mind how my makeup's looking. Like, granted, I'm not really wearing makeup, I'm just wearing this tinted SPF, but I really like how it looks. So I think I may just add a little bit more makeup on top. And with my hair, Maybe try and keep it natural for tonight, which I never do, but I'm kind of vibing with it tonight. I don't know. Probably put a little bit of hair oil in or I'll slip slick it back. We'll see. Back to the haul though. I restock on my Polish Choice. This is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. Absolutely love this stuff. I have the regular size version down here. It's empty. And so I saw they have this like massive one. I was like, might as well get this. More bang for your buck. So restock on that. And then last but not least, I've really been wanting to try products from Westman Atelier. I think that's how you pronounce it. A lot of people rave about it. And so I've been eyeing their contour sticks. So that's what I ended up getting. I got mine in the shade, I believe it's it's like the darkest shade. This is in the shade Ganache. So this is what it looks like. And I feel like this shade would look really good on me. I actually saw a TikTok of a girl using it recently and it blended in like butter. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try it. And it is a little on the pricier side, but apparently the whole like thing with this brand is that their skincare 
but also makeup kind of vibe so I figured I'll try it out also I heard great things about like I said the house labs apparently this has I think it's like arnica they have in here or something which is supposed to be really good for I think your skin so I wanted to try this out also for that reason that's everything I picked up I'll let you guys know my thoughts may use some of these products tonight but for now I think I'm just gonna figure out whether I'm gonna shower and redo my hair and makeup or if I'm just gonna go with the curly look for tonight and then and last but not least, like I said, I did get a PR package in. So this package is from Burst. I've never tried their products before, but I've heard amazing things, so I'm super excited. Thank you to them if you happen to be watching this. So the first thing they sent, well, they sent a lot. They sent over their instant gratification at home derma cleaning tool. Really wanted to try this out. You guys know I love shaving my face, and if this tool is better than what I've been using, Definitely want to try it out. Also have everything linked down below as usual. Then they also sent over their Photos Please Brightening Tightening Mask. This has turmeric and kaolin clay, I think that's how you pronounce it. it says this has 12 plus applications. So you guys know I'm all about my skincare, especially my face mask. I think I do a face mask two to three times a week, like not even gonna lie. Any single thing I see on my face, I'm like, I need to do a face mask. So and I switch between like pore cleansing ones, hydrating ones. Like I don't just do the same one over and over but really excited to try this they also sent over their just breathe clarifying serum this has zinc and willow bark extract included i think this is supposed to as if your skin is stressing you out and you just wanted to chill really excited to try this out they also sent over doctor's visit instant resurfacing mask this is an aha bha complex with pineapple enzyme tumor product they also sent over their out of sight dark spot gel which you could tell I have like, let me zoom you guys in. If you can tell, I have like a few dark spots here on my face and I think maybe a little over here. So any dark spot correctors, I'm here for. Also send over last but not least their cleansing balm. You guys know I'm all about cleansing balms lately. Very excited to try this out. Like I said, I'll have everything linked down below. I filmed a little get ready with me on TikTok. I totally forgot to film it here. I apologize, but now I'm about to put my hair up. I think I'm trying to do one of these kind of looks, like leave these curly pieces down in the front and put the rest of my hair up. That's the vibe we're going for. Still have no idea what I'm wearing. We put some oil in. Okay, I'm hoping I put enough bio pins in. This is driving me crazy. I honestly may put like a dark shadow in there or something because this side is fine. This side, like what is going on? Do you remember that I purchased this Color Wild product from forever ago? I think this was like one of their first ever products. It's basically for this, like to color in the lines in your hair i don't remember where i got this from but what it looks like a little brush it's gonna lightly tap in okay what do we think i feel like that's like a pretty big difference okay makeup hair is somewhat done let's figure out our outfit okay i believe this is our look for the night this dress is from Mango. You guys would have seen me wear it in Paris. I figured since it's 70 something degrees out, why not wear? You know, there's no sleeve, so might as well wear it now. Like I said, this is from Mango, and then I'm just pairing it with these cute little, I think they're called like Mary Jane, something like that. I'll have a link down below, but these are from Franco Sarto. Of course, we have our go to little product per and i'll catch up with you guys when we're there also i was debating between wearing these little studs which why does this one look like it's about to fall out for my hoops and i just decided i'm gonna keep these on I recently remembered that jay got me these for my birthday and i feel like i've really fell in love with them so yeah this is the final look let me know what you guys think honest opinions on the hair because i don't know maybe this will be another little look for me since I pretty much only leave my hair straight.